What is the composition in atomic percent of an alloy that contains 98 grams of tin and 65 grams of lead? Any time that you're converting from weight percent to atom percent, we need to perform the following steps. Step one, convert each component's mass into a number of moles. Step two, determine the mole fraction of each component from now the total number of moles. So for step one, to determine the number of moles of each, we're gonna take the mass of each component and divide it by its atomic mass. For tin, I find that that gives us 0 0.8256 moles of tin. For lead, I find that that's equal to 0 0.3137 moles of lead. Now that we have the moles of each, we finish step one. Step two then requires that we determine the mole fraction of each component from the total number of moles. That will give us the atomic percent. Note, mole percent is equal to atom percent. So if you know the mole fraction, that's equal to the atomic fraction. For tin, we know that we have 0 0.8256 moles, and the total number of moles is 0.8256 plus 0.3137. Taking that fraction, we find that the atomic percent of tin is 72.47 atomic percent tin. Doing the same thing for lead, we find that it's equal to 27 0.53 atomic percent lead. Now the book chapter has an equation that combines these same two steps into one equation. The C prime SN, that's the atomic percent of tin, can be calculated if you know C sub SN, that's the weight percent, weight percent of tin, multiplied by the atomic weight of lead, all divided by C sub SN times the atomic mass of lead, plus C sub PB, that's the weight fraction of lead, times the atomic mass of tin. So they're reversed, SN paired with the PB, PB paired with the SN. So before we use this formula, we need to convert C sub SN and C sub PB into weight percents. To do so, we write C sub SN equals 98 grams over 98 grams plus 65 grams times 100 to put it in percent equals 60.12 percent is the weight fraction of tin. Doing the same thing for lead, we find thirty nine point eight eight per cent now that we know those values we can go ahead and plug them in c sub sm we're going to use sixty point one two c sub pb we're going to use thirty nine point eight eight plugging this in we achieve the same answer that we did by doing those two parts separately seventy two point four seven atomic percent tin and similarly for lead twenty seven point five three atomic percent lead whether you do these steps separately or whether you use the equation in the book, you get the exact same answer.